What is going on you guys? Tutorial Tim here. I got another tutorial for you on how to use the Roller Figma plugin developed by Toybox Systems. Um, specifically we're going to get into working with how to utilize the shadows, uh, how to lint shadows, how do we import these into the Roller Figma plugin. Um, yeah, so without any further ado, let's get started. If you guys don't have this plugin, um, I would imagine you have the the plan. Uh, so I'll be going over how to um, utilize these shadows, how to add shadows from the plugin itself, and how to import the styles if you already have these effects as styles in your Figma library. Um, and again, this is a this is a part of one of the the purchase plans. Um, so just in case you don't have the purchase plan, you'll only be able to utilize the color and text styles. So um, the, just a side note, it's like two or three dollars a month. Uh, really great investment, especially if you if you're utilizing uh, this for an organization, really produce um, high quality designs that are in sync with your visual designs um, before you ship them. Um, but without any further ado, let's get started here. Uh, so I created this as a part of the Figma file, which is in the description of this YouTube video. Um, uh, you can access this and duplicate it by just clicking down this little carrot and then clicking duplicate and then going to your recents and opening this file and you'll have these styles. So the styles that I've created here that we're going to utilize today are these these styles with a drop shadow. I call them elevation. So these elements can overlap on movable canvases and shadows can be used to create different levels of elevation, making it easier to create visual hierarchy utilizing the Z index on the axis. So we got the we got the X, Y and Z axis and uh, yeah, just let's, let's add some nice uh, depth to that uh, UI, huh? So I got these styles here. I already created them. Um, if you haven't already created them, I also have here screenshots of how to create these as drop shadows. So I'll, I'll go over creating one with you. Um, don't want to take too much time from, uh, from you guys here. It's pretty simple. Uh, so all you got to do is go to the effects um, and click on the plus icon and it will directly default to a drop shadow and then you just edit the settings here I got a settings uh, blur set to 4 and on the Y offset got it set to 1 and it's black with a 25% opacity um, so we got that style and how do we add that style to a library so if you don't have any styles just click this icon here this, this little four sets icon to the plus icon and you can create a new effect style and label it elevation whatever elevation 1 um, Elevation one, and then we already have, we already have um, them labeled one through four. So I'm just going to right click on that and delete it. Just want to show you how to create that style. Uh, very simple and straightforward. So now that we have all our styles here, uh, we're going to want to add this to our plugin. Why? Because we want to be able to lint this across pages we access in our design files that we want to adhere to these shadows or or these this elevation. So if we go to the, if we go to the shadows here, I can uh, import from Figma styles and then you'll notice once I import it, I'll have one, two, three, and four effect styles imported. One, two, three, and four. Um, it, the, good, the nice thing about this is you can also remove it. Say you modified something on accident. Um, uh, say you modified something on accident here. Whoops. Add like a number here. 22. Notice, notice you can see in the preview mode the changes you're applying directly. I'm going to click Save Style. Um, the rule has been edited, but that rule is not edited in your effect styles in the Figma file itself. This is something uh, I know Roller is working on, so you know, just be patient. Um, it'll be there. So we have this x-axis set to 22 for our style number 4. If we go to our style number 4, click Edit Rule, and then go to the properties of this, you'll notice that the the x offset is not set to 22, but it is in the Roller Figma plugin. Just want to do uh, just wanted to let you guys know um, about this intricacy of the plugin as it's still being further developed. Uh, it will be in sync um, eventually. Um, so that's just one thing to keep note of. Uh, you will have to, uh, you know, keep these effect styles and the plugin in sync, um, working in parallel together if you want this to be, uh, you know, um, accurate and up to date. So um, as you can see in these properties, you have the, the blur you can set, the the X offset, the Y offset, and the hex value you want to provide, and the amount of opacity ranging from 0 0.0 to 1, and um, the name for it. You can save the style. Um, if you have any questions, let's take you to our documentation. You just click on the Help Center button. Um, so we have all our styles here, which is great. Um, that's how you, you import your styles from Figma. And then if you want to add styles, this is kind of the big reason why I have 
this screenshot here to teach you how to add the style uh, within the plugin as well. So you'll have this little preview pane here. And I'm going to create this elevation one. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to apply the same properties here. Zero, one. Okay, we got that nice uh, blur there. We need to apply a hex value. I'm going to do zero, 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 zero. Uh, it was a little little hashtag in the beginning. There we go. Uh, opacity of let's go to 0 0.25, and then we're gonna do uh, elevation one test, and we can save that style. And now we have this style. Um, so with this style, um, we can lint for this style now. Um, so now if we go to our <coughs> if we go to our shadows. Um, we'll have that as a have it as a style, but we can't really add it to our Figma file yet. Um, but if we want to lint for it, we can. So there's one error. We got two layers here, showing us uh, showing us the name of the layers. We got rectangle one with a different set of with its own custom properties here. The custom properties being a blur of 100 x offset is set to zero using 40% opacity of uh, the hex code 000, which is black, and then uh, offset of 24. So um, it'll notice that this, if any shadows do not adhere to or have the text styles, effect styles, the effect styles of shadows, um, pardon my French there, um, it will it will throw an error and you'll have to select a style to replace it. So with that elevation one test that we created, we could use that and replace it. And we can replace that or we could replace all. In other words, it would replace both of these that have two different types of drop shadow properties applied to them, um, styles applied to them. Um, so we got that, I'm just gonna replace one. You can also go to the next one that doesn't have the proper drop shadow. Um, so I'm just gonna click on that. I'm gonna go back previous it'll take you to and from each object, um, objects being just rectangles. Um, and I'm gonna do replace, and now uh, that textile has been replaced, and once you replace it, it'll, it'll move you right to the next error. So uh, let's go to the next error here. Um, we got this, and then we'll go to the next error. It says that this is not utilizing a, an effect style, in other words, our drop shadow, our shadow style. It should be using a shadow style of four, because this is the Elevation 4 we've referenced here. And uh, if we go here and just click Replace on this drop down, select 4, we'll have the desired um, shadow style linked. So notice no changes were made other than the fact that it was linked to its essentially uh, master component or master style. So whenever you revise changes, um, those changes will also reflect in the elevation style wherever it is applied. So. That is how you utilize the shadows uh, portion of the design linter called Roller, developed by Toybox. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, if you'd like me to make any more videos on this, I'll be more than happy to. Just uh, leave a like and a comment and maybe subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.